In this video, we're gonna see what a Tesla Model S Plaid would look like if it had a more traditional EV power curve that dropped off at higher speeds. So on the screen here is a Model S Plaid power curve. As you may know, it holds pretty close to maximum horsepower all the way to max RPM, which is 20,000. So it has over a thousand horsepower to maximum RPM. And this creates ridiculous top end speed, um, which is completely unlike EVs before this, which are known to drop off. So if we contrast that with a Model S performance power curve, it looks something like that on the screen. What I've gone ahead and done is actually created a theoretical um, Tesla where we use the outgoing performance model, uh, excuse me, performance model power curve and use the actual uh, torque output numbers from Plaid. So this is a Model S performance that is making 1,050 foot-pounds, just like the, the Plaid, but it has this big uh, power power dip um, in which at max RPM, you can see it's only making about 450 horsepower versus Plaid, which makes 1,000. I've gone ahead and set up a theoretical drag race between the current Model S Plaid and this theoretical one, which has a massive power drop-off. And so what we should see is pretty much identical launches. And then after about 60, 70 miles an hour, we'll see the um, modified version really start to drop off. Um, so yeah, as it approaches the quarter, you can see it's about two, two car lengths behind. And that's equivalent to, it looks like about almost about a nine or 10 mile an hour trap speed difference. If you look at the times though, they're not all that different. I mean, you get a, a 0.2 second gain with the flat power curve versus the, the, the drop-off. Um, and so it kind of goes to show how important that those early early seconds are for, for acceleration and how that really shaves time off a quarter mile. What I'm going to do is show you guys a roll, rolling race next from 100 miles an hour and show you guys where the plaid really shines. So here's a half mile race starting from 100 miles an hour. Plaid's up top. The uh, power drop-off version is on the bottom. So yeah, as you can see right off the bat, it's it's pulling on it um, and it'll just keep increasing the gap as time goes on. And yeah, so you're talking about almost reaching its 200 mile top speed at 194 in the half mile versus only 174 for the uh, dropped off version. The point of this video was just to show you guys um, how impressive this car is at high speeds and what that flat power curve does to performance. Um, as you can see, uh, we basically created the same car torque wise. We just completely changed the power curve, made it more of a traditional EV with the drop off. And there's not massive differences in the quarter mile time wise, but, but speed wise, it's huge. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did feel free to drop a like, uh, I really want to hear you guys, hear your guys' thoughts on future video ideas and what you want to see. Uh, I hope to transition away from only covering EVs in these long format videos and getting into some supercars or some, some tuned cars. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a good one.